Meet Jenny. She's a common palm civet or luwak and she produces the rarest, the most expensive and the most fabled coffee in the world. Does she bite? No. No? No. The musk from a close cousin provides the essence of Chanel No. 5 perfume. But it's what Jenny eats that makes her dung worth $1,500 a kilogram in the chic cafes of New York, Hong Kong and Tokyo. On the slopes of this volcanic peak near Bandar Lampung, the plantations produce some of the best coffee in the world. The bright red coffee cherries are picked by hand to be taken away for processing. Luwaks, though, do their own picking, and the processing takes place in their gut as the enzymes and acids mellow the flavours and leach away the caffeine. Oh dear. Susanto, a shrimp farmer by profession, believes the animals can be domesticated. Saya pernah mencoba di sini untuk men mencoba menjaga luak dari berbagai spesies. Kemudian saya coba untuk kasih dengan buah uh, kopi segar. Uh, bagaimana dia makan dan fisiknya seperti apa? Traditionally, Sumatran farmers saw the civets as a pest and they trapped and ate them as a delicacy. But Susanto and his brother Joko Basuki have set up a business buying any dung that the farmers can collect in their plantations and buying the luwak that they trap. Saya beberapa tahun yang lalu melihat beberapa informasi di dunia bahwasanya kopi luwak itu tidak ada dan hanya merupakan legenda. The problem is that the animals don't just eat coffee. They love bananas and grapes and even the odd chicken and rat. That means that after the dung is dried in the hot tropical sun, it has to be hand sorted to remove what's good and what's, well, just crap. Sometimes the hard nuggets need to be broken up first with a wooden mortar and pestle. The brothers knew they had a rare and valuable product, but they found that the international coffee market is full of thieves. Ada beberapa reseller juga yang datang pada saya. Kemudian dia ingin berjanji membuat kontrak untuk membuat kontinu. Tapi sampai sekarang ternyata dia hanya membeli 3 kilo. Tapi setelah itu dia mungkin mix dengan kopi biasa untuk dijual dan disampaikan kepada dunia bahwa itu kopi luwak yang asli. It's been estimated that the actual annual production of kopi luwak around the world is less than 500 kilograms a year. So most of the coffee that's being sold for up to $50 a single cup is being diluted or simply fake. The family have been drinking and preparing the rare coffee for themselves in the traditional way since they were children. Okay. Leftover coffee salvaged from dung on the forest floor was the only brew that the poor farmers could afford to drink. I know this is the real thing, and it's time for the moment of truth. Not bad. Not bad. That's very mild. Hmm. Kenapa lebih bagus? Kopi luwak itu rasanya dari bau. Bau lebih, aromanya menyengat. Itu. Terus, uh, rasa lebih ke lidah itu lebih tidak panas tenggorokan. Terus apa? E, rasa sama kadar kafein lebih sedikit rendah. Bagi penikmat kopi, cita rasa kopi luwak itu lebih berbeda. It certainly is different as Joko Basuki says, but perhaps the only way to be sure that you get the right stuff is to come to the source. Here the coffee that's been through one luwak sells for $3 a kilogram. Once it's been through half a dozen middlemen, it will cost 500 times as much. And there's no guarantee that you're getting the real thing or just a load of bull. <laughs> <laughs>